Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about reverse engineering of iOS backup. In the previous video, I showed you how to extract images and videos from iOS backup. But in today's video, we're going to go deeper and understand how it works and extract some of things like contacts, messages and etc. from iOS backup. And first of all, thanks to these guys who already did a great breakthrough of iOS backup and all I'm doing is uh, creating a video and so that you can understand easily. So let's get started. So first thing, we need to locate the iOS backup which is present in Windows folder. So go to um, local disk E, users, your name and app data, roaming, Apple computer, mobile sync, backup and this is a folder where your backup look is present can see all the files and if you click on a folder you can see the files so we need to get all the files from these folders and copy to a separate folder okay further just type just get into this main folder and type star dot and once uh, just scroll down yeah you can see all the files starting from here just select one file and press shift plus n so that it will select all the files to the end wait a second yeah now I got all the files selected copy this and paste them in a separate folder I already did that you can see these are all the files all the US backup Okay, now take a look at these files. As you can see, these files may include your contacts, videos, images, and whatnot, everything of your which contains in your iOS backup. So now let's we we'll understand what are these files and the thing. And by the way, all the links I am using here are available in the description below. Now click now go to the first link and you can see here. The file names are made by SHA-1 hash of the name together with the path and domain which means the path of the file and the name, original name of the file they combine together and use this function called SHA-1 algorithm and with it generates a unique string. So now let's take a look copy this and google SHA-1 online now paste here now generate hash you can see it generates the same string as here 3d0 3d0 so now you can understand all these files are the hash of their path and the original name now copy this file and by the way this file is smsdb which means it stores all the messages of your iphone now copy this and search for the file as you can see this is the file now you can we don't know the ex extension of this file for that just do rename this file just f2 and add dot sqlite at the end of the file and as i know this smsdb all these files are of sqlite format so in order to browse that go to sqlite database browser for windows and download click on the third link and install it after that just open this file I already did that yeah now here this is a file which we add .sqlite extension to now click on browse data and select message see these are the messages that are present in your iPhone you can see these are all my messages ok now we got all the messages that are present in iOS backup now let's go for contacts 
okay just go to this third website and you can see this website says SMS are stored in name called sms.db and the hash of this file is this one for contacts are stored in address book.sql.db the original name and the hash is this one so copy this hash value and go to our folder just search for the file you can see the file now as I did previous just add dot sqlite to the file and press enter now open this file just execute just click on this execute sql tab and go to the fourth link in the description and copy the command And just paste here and execute you can see these are all the contacts that are present in my ios see this is the name this is the okay now what all can i get from this ios backup now go to this one so this link you can see you can get all these things as sms contacts calendar reminders notes call history location web history and everything so now let's a, get the web history of my iOS backup. Now go to the second on this web history. And it says to locate the, uh, the web history file, the name of the web history file is this one. Copy and search for the file. And again do the same. F2 dot SQLite. Just chat. Now open this. now just copy the command below and press enter you can see this is my web history these are the websites that i visited before the i doing an ios backup now now take a look at the call log just click on the call log yeah here the name of the file just copy and search for the file in the folder yeah here it is just f2 and rename it to sqlite and open it now copy the command click on the execute tab copy paste and execute you can see these are all this is your call log now let's understand here if you an, if you answer the call it will be z, uh, if you answer the call it will be one if you answered it unanswered it, it will be zero so this is a duration and this is a phone number that you spoke with the guy now let's look at the whatsapp messages that are stored in your uh, ios backup I don't have Snapchat, Quick, Web, or WeChat line. I have WhatsApp, so let's look at the WhatsApp. Uh, and this website says all the WhatsApp messages are stored in chart storage.sqlite. Now go to this folder, search for manifest. Here it is. Just rename it to .sqlite. Now open it. See, the manifest file is just like an index in your textbook. Go to this browse data tab, the relative path, and just search for chart storage. Chart storage, one second, yeah, here. Now in the first field, copy this. This is the name of the file. Now search for the file. Here it is, and again do F2. Sorry, not SQLite. Now open it. I already did that. Okay, now let's do that again. So, this is a file where all your WhatsApp messages are stored. Now, these are all the tables 
and if you're familiar with uh, database DBMS you know what the tables and columns means now click on this uh, W said a message message see here are all the messages so all the messages these are two these are and this column is from from now here let's write a query um, yeah here is my query I already did that for you and this query says select text from the table where the from id is my friend's phone number or uh, from z2 id which means the messages that i have sent to him is this gun and execute here are all the messages that we have spoken in whatsapp and okay guys so that's all about the contact messages and whatsapp messages now let's understand so here now what if we want to know what file is this so further just copy the file and as I said this manifest acts like an index in your textbook which contains all the chapter just go to this browse data and paste the file that you want to know it says the domain is camera roll which means this is a video taken from a camera uh, and it says it's media and the dot mov which means it's a video file now what I can do is just go to this file and f2 and rename to dot mov because the manifest says oh, because the manifest it's a type of mov file so let's add this extension to it you see okay yes that's video file now what if you want to know which file is this f2 copy go to this manifest search for the file and it says I don't know it's a Nike one um, check this file copy yeah it's an image file dot jpg so let's add this extension to it dot jpg enter open it yes it's an image file okay guys that's all for today have a nice day goodbye